Alrighty y'all, welcome back uh, for something a little bit different today. I'm out mushroom hunting here in the beautiful woods of Northwest PA and it's fall, it's October. And so there are mushrooms everywhere in these woods and a lot of them are edible and really good. So I'm out here today to try to see what I can find. See if I can find some of the delicious ones that we can find here and see what else we run across. So stay tuned, we'll see what we find. So I came to my favorite oyster mushroom log here. It's a fallen cherry tree and yes, indeed. We have oyster mushrooms. These aren't in perfect condition, but some of these are pretty nice and I'll be able to harvest them, and take them back. So one of the ways you can tell uh, oyster mushrooms from other species of mushrooms is that the gills run all the way down onto the stem. So if you look right here, they're called decurrent gills, and they don't just stop abruptly like most other mushrooms do. Um, so that's one of the ways you can tell. Thankfully there aren't too many species of mushrooms that are similar to oysters, so you should be pretty safe trying to find them. Another shot of these delicious mushrooms. Really a fun one to find. And when you do find one, there's often a whole log full here. So these are all growing on a dead cherry log, a tree that's been down for a few years and got this nice little patch here. So I'll pick a few of these and then we'll keep moving and see what else we can find. Alrighty, just gonna pick a few of the better looking ones here. Oh yeah. These are really delicate, um, but also delicious mushrooms. And they're really a delicacy in a lot of parts of the world. You can actually buy these in supermarkets. You can buy your own kits to grow them at home too, actually, I think. So I'll just get a few here. I have another spot I wanna check for them. We'll see if they're a little fresher over there. These are pretty good, just a little bit, a little bit tattered. So that looks like a good amount there. Put these in a bag and keep heading on. See what other kinds of mushrooms we can find. Another beautiful shell fungus. Not sure what this one's called, but it is quite pretty. I don't know that it's edible. I know some of these are medicinal, but I don't really know too much about that, so I will leave it alone. Okay, wow, y'all. I was just left the mushroom log. I still have the mushrooms, oysters here in my hand, and I just spotted a big clump of hen of the woods or uh, maitake mushrooms, and that's really cool because I've never actually found a, a properly healthy clump. Um, the other day I found probably 10 or 15 pounds, but they were all just a little bit rotten and so I didn't want to try to eat them but I think some of this at least will be salvageable so show you up closer and we'll pick some and see if I can take them home all right so these really blend into the ground they're hard to spot but it's a big ragged clump of hen of the woods or maitake um, these mushrooms don't have gills, they just have little small pores. Um, these are supposed to be a delicacy as well. I don't think this whole clump is going to be edible, because uh, some of it looks like it might be a little bit slug eaten, but I'll see what I can do, see if I can salvage some parts. So, All right, so these really blend into the ground. They're hard to spot, but it's a big ragged clump of Hen of the woods, or maitake. Um, these mushrooms don't have gills, they just have little small pores. Um, these are supposed to be a delicacy as well. I don't think this whole clump is gonna be edible, because uh, some of it looks like it might be a little bit slug eaten, but I'll see what I can do, see if I can salvage some parts, so. Alrighty, not sure how to pick these exactly, but see if we can kind of scoop them out. Yeah, there we go. 
Nice. <laughs> Got a few little friends there. But nice. This definitely, some of this definitely looks edible. Might have to trim some of that off, but definitely a really interesting mushroom. It smells quite nice. So there you go, hen of the woods. Another edible mushroom of the Northeast. That's really exciting. I've never tried these before, so it'll be really interesting to see what they're like. Let's see if we can harvest a little bit more of this here. This is really quite a big clump. I won't be able to eat all of it. So it's probably a solid five pound clump there, but that's really cool. Another delicious mushroom. So even if you haven't heard of hen of the woods, you may have heard of chicken of the woods. It's another uh, kind of similar edible mushroom, but they're bright orange. Um, they do grow around here. So I might head there next. I have one spot I want to check for some and see if I can show you some that I harvested there. So, see you there. So I'm just walking back out to the road and thought I'd stop, show you this. This stump here, it's a big, tall, dead oak stump, was absolutely covered in chicken of the woods uh, about a month ago, probably 20 pounds, just up and down there. You can still see the stumps a little bit. So that was really awesome. That was my first experience with that mushroom and got to eat a lot of it. It's really delicious and I've been out looking for more ever since. But even without checking the woods today here, I've got a whole pile of my talky mushrooms, so we'll see what else we can find today. See if we can find a few of those orange mushrooms, but we'll see what else we get. It's been a good day already. So the kind of mushroom I'm looking for here in the woods is called chicken of the woods. It's kind of a strange name for a mushroom, but um, an edible mushroom it is and it's pretty easy to spot. So I found these clumps a couple days ago and I'm just gonna swing by here and pick them up now that they're a little bit bigger and ready to eat. So I'll show them to you right now. Alrighty, so we got the chicken of the woods mushrooms right here. As you can see, they're kind of shelf fungi type uh, that are bright orange, which is a very distinguishing characteristic. So that's nice. Um, they're pretty easy to spot. Not a lot of things you can mistake them for, but obligatory. Please don't eat them without doing your own research just based on this video, so. Uh, but I'm gonna harvest some of these. They're nice, young, and tender. And should be delicious when we fry them up, so. Let's go ahead here. Alrighty. Here we go. Alrighty, here we go. We got the harvested mushrooms. These are some beautiful ones here. I have one more clump I'm gonna go check and pick a few off of, and then we'll get back to the creek. But these will be delicious eating. And ba-bam, there's the other clump I found. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these as well and see if there's any others around close by, but I don't see any right offhand, so let's see. All came off in one clump, right there. Beautiful, gorgeous condition. Oh, that makes me happy. These will be delicious. It's awesome. Alrighty, with the mushrooms secured, I'm going to head back to the creek, see what else we can find. Just stopped to take a couple pans for garnets here in this little creek and found these beautiful little shelf mushrooms here. Little tiny, they have little almost like hairs coming out the bottom. I think these might be northern tooth mushrooms maybe. That could be wrong. 
I'm not really sure. But back along this beautiful little creek with all the fall colors and gorgeous stuff around. Another little beautiful mushroom. So I'm walking back down to my uh, next oyster mushroom spot down here in the swamp. Um, and I felt like now is as good a time as any to put in the obligatory disclaimer that please do not try to find and eat any mushrooms based on only this video. Please, there are plenty of resources out there to help you identify them. And yeah, make sure to find at least a few sources to confirm the identity before you try them because there are a lot of poisonous kinds of mushrooms, and it would really be very sad to get sick from eating mushrooms. So, yeah, find other sources. Don't just use this video. I hope I've identified them correctly. If I haven't, please let me know. Um, but I try to stick with the more obvious ones anyway, because I don't want to run the risk of hitting anything too dangerous. So, anyway, i got to find my way through this swamp now to the oyster mushroom log and we'll see if there's anything on it. Okay, well not great news folks. This log used to be covered in oyster mushrooms. I picked a couple pounds at one time off it a few weeks ago, but they seem to be past. Uh, it might just be we haven't had rain so they're not really regrowing very fast. Um, did find a couple small ones on a tree close by here and I think I see a few more over here so I'll go pick those yet. We'll see if we can find anything else, but it's not looking too great for the oysters at this spot today. Well, well, I just said that and then walked over here and look at this. This tree is covered in oyster mushrooms. That is so, so awesome. These are like perfect, perfectly fresh too. Perfect condition, big, nice. Okay, looks like we'll get a few oysters after all. Let's check it out. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, I'm just gonna harvest what I can reach here in the tree. See what I get. Pulls right off. Those are a little bit past, so we'll see. I might not keep that. Oh, just a perfect one. Decided I need to get the close-up shot for harvesting this one. Just look at it. A little pull. There we go. It's a beautiful, big, really fresh one. Perfect, that's how you love to find them. All right, got a little box full here. See what else I can pick here. That'll be enough for a meal. Sadly, I cannot reach those. And also they're a little bit past, so I got a few here. And then there's also a bunch of nice little young ones here that I'll leave to grow up. I could come back in a couple days here and pick the rest of these. So, wonderful, wonderful find so far. Let's see if there's any others around close by. Alrighty y'all, I'm out of time to be exploring so have to end the video there, but today was a really great day. Found a bunch of different kinds of edible mushrooms here in the gorgeous fall woods up here in Northwest PA. And so definitely a really fun day. Um, 
If this inspires you to go out and look for mushrooms, again, just be sure you have the proper resources to identify them. Don't eat anything you're not sure about. But if you do know somebody who knows what they're doing, see if you can go with them because it's really fun and the mushrooms are pretty good once you cook them up anyway. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this little different kind of video from what I normally do. And let me know if you want to see more foraging type videos because I do do some of that on the side as well. So, but until next time, have fun, get out, get rock hounding, look for mushrooms if you can, and have a great time. We'll see you later.